Good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us this evening um, to listen to uh, about our project on Handley Drive. My name is Lisette Acevedo. I'm with the City of Fort Worth. I'm the program manager for the Mobility Infrastructure Group in the City of Fort Worth. And uh, we want to present to you improvements that are coming over to your uh, to your neighborhood. Um, Council Member Vivens, would you like to say a few words? No, just glad that you're able to share this information and we can schedule a follow up meeting you know, for people who want to be in person with us. But thank you so much. And I shouldn't say in person, but people who want to join us again over the Internet. But thank you for doing this. Having the video will be a big help to the community understand what your staff and your team are going to do. So thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for that, Ms. Vivens. We also have on the line um, our assistant director, uh, Ms. Lauren Pruer, and our communication specialist, Jeffrey Allen. Um, I'm going to be handing the presentation over to our project manager, uh, Ms. Shota Rao. Uh, and then if you can uh, wait until the end or place your questions on the chat, we'll be able to answer those um, as we go through the presentation. Thank you so much, Shweta. Good evening, everyone. This is Shweta Rao, and I'm the project manager over the Handley Drive Sidewalks project. Um, so, as this is a new format and we are doing this online WebEx meetings uh, nowadays, um, I just have a few things to share. Uh, please mute yourself uh, at all the time so that we don't have eco or disturbance. And also, please enter your questions in the chat box so that uh, we won't have any disturbance during the presentation. So, this is a public meeting for uh, and a sidewalk project and the limits of the project are from Normandy Road to Brentwood Stair Road. And this project is a part of 2018 bond sidewalk program improvements. Um, Freeze and Nichols are our engineering firm on this project and we have our engineers on call too. So thank you for joining the call. Um, this is our brief agenda for the meeting. We would be going over the project background, the project schedule, and some uh, frequently asked questions about the sidewalk project and the point of contact for our contractor who would be um, responsible for construction on this project. Coming to the project background, this project uh, was selected to improve walkability uh, in the Hanley Drive neighborhood and uh, it improves. Um, city, has, uh, city of Fort Worth has adopted the complete street policy recently and this policy um, allows every type of uh, transportation. I mean, um, it gives priority to each kind of transportation, not just the vehicles, but also the pedestrian improvements. So city is uh, city of Fort Worth is one of the blue zone cities. And uh, it's uh, the main motive is also to provide proper connectivity to the pedestrians and provide a safe path for the pedestrians to access um, the commercial areas as well as schools and parks and everything. So this project includes pedestrian access elements like sidewalks and curb ramp improvements. And um, this project was prioritized for 2014 bond funds, but we were not able to deliver it uh, because there were some other high priority locations that came up at that time that needed to be addressed. So this was a high priority location for our 2018 bond program. So it was one of the locations selected under the 2018 bond year one program. And we had a pedestrian accident that happened on this location that made this location a high priority um, and a sidewalk. I mean, uh, the location ranked really high on the priority list for the sidewalks. So this uh, map shows the project limits. Um, so it's on the Hanley Drive from Normandy Road to Brentwood Stair Road. Um, this project shows the aerial view of the location and everything marked in the red is where we are installing the new sidewalks. So from Berenfoot Stair Road to Ellis Road, we are mostly filling up the gaps uh, and providing connectivity to uh, Berenfoot Stair Road. But between Ellis and Normandy, we would be in, um, installing completely new sidewalk. So the total length of sidewalk is 1200 square feet, linear feet and uh, considering um, an average of five feet sidewalk, uh, it's total of 9,000 square feet of sidewalk. Uh, 
um, along with uh, just including the sidewalks on this location, we are also recommending to reduce the lane width from Ellis Road to Normandy from four lanes to three lanes with one lane going southbound and two lanes going northbound. And that's mostly because we have some large trees and uh, well-grown trees, and we wanted to protect them and not remove those trees to install the sidewalk. So it was recommended with, uh, by our engineers and also from our I mean, transportation management department to reduce the lane width from four lanes to three lanes. Uh, traffic analysis was done to check if there would be an impact with us reducing the lane width, but we had very minimal impact and it was suggested that we provide one lane southbound and two lanes going northbound. And pavement markings will also be installed to allow for the smoother transition between these sections. So these pictures shows, uh, show the trees that were in conflict. Uh, the trees were well grown and they were right next to the curb and it would have been very difficult to install the sidewalk without impacting these trees. So, we inspected the site with our forester and arborist, and they felt that uh, with us installing the sidewalk within the four feet of these trees would impact the health of the trees, and they didn't recommend it. So we had to look for an option to protect these trees, and that's when it was suggested for us to reduce the lane width from four lanes to three lanes. So this is the proposed section of the new um, roadway section from Ellis Road to Normandy on Hanley Drive. So this shows uh, one lane going southbound and two lanes going northbound. And um, there would be a transition provided with the pavement markings um, for both south of Normandy and north of Ellis Drive, Ellis Road, sorry. So coming south on Hanley, the rightmost lane, uh, before Ellis Road would turn right only, and then that would provide one single lane going southbound. And then after Normandy, it would just turn into a four lane roadway again. Um, just as in detail on this project, the curve would be pulled back um, on Hanley Drive to accommodate for the five feet sidewalk and also uh, reduce the lane width. Coming to project schedule, um, we have few utility relocations going on. Atmos is relocating their line between Ellis and Normandy, and they'll be done with the relocation around mid-October. So we'll be clear on utilities by mid-October. And we also have some easement acquisitions going on between same Ellis and Normandy, and the estimation completion date on easement acquisition is around late October. Um, we have already executed our task order for construction with our contractor and in September, and we are ready to start construction whenever we have the right of way acquired. So currently we are estimating start of construction early November 2020, and the construction would go on for four months. Um, here is the frequently asked questions um, about typical sidewalk project. So the first one is, what is the typical width of a proposed sidewalk? So according to ADA, uh, Americans Disabilities Act and PROAG, the public right of ways um, accessibility guidelines, generally we pro the typical width of a sidewalk is five feet when it's detached from the curb or six feet when it's uh, right next to the curb. And we try to provide five feet of sidewalk on Handley Drive wherever possible but uh, the locations where we have the trees, we reduced it to four feet just to reduce the impact on the tree. The next one is, are we impacting any driveways in this project? And if so, will there be any access to the property during driveway construction? So yes, we will be redoing some driveways along Handley Drive as a part of this project, but uh, those would be mostly to bring the driveways to ADA compliance, have a 2% cross slope and so that they are um, safe for pedestrians. And uh, during these driveway constructions, we will not be impacting the access to the property. We would do one panel at a time so that uh, the residents will have access to their property at all times. 
The next one is, will existing tree removals be necessary? So we won't be impacting any tree uh, trees during our construction. We won't be removing any of them. Uh, we would be extra careful when we are working around those large trees and um, our contractor would work with our arborist before they start digging out around those trees and um, no tree removals are necessary for this project. The next one is, will traffic lanes be temporarily closed or detoured? So uh, yes, we will have some detours uh, in this project. Um, basically from Ellis Road to Berenput Stair Road where we are just filling in the gaps, we will just have the outside lane closed during construction. So that would be mostly from like 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And that would be open right after um, the contractor leaves the site. So the outmost, outermost lane would be just closed um, around the part where the construction is going on during daytimes and would be reopened uh, once the contractor leaves the site. But while the construction is going on between Ellis and Normandy, where we would be reducing the lane width, we have some stormwater uh, stuff that needs to be done. And for that, we have providing a short detour that would be for a week or 10 days. And um, I'll show you the map on the detour for that. So this is a detour map when the construction is going on between Ellis Road and Normandy Road. So there won't be any detour for the southbound traffic. So there will be one lane open for the southbound traffic uh, going from Ellis to Normandy. But the northbound traffic would be detoured around going through Normandy and the frontage Road 820 and then coming back to Ellis Road uh, back onto Hanley Drive. Uh, we don't expect this detour to go on for very long. Uh, the contractor would be completing the work between Ellis to Normandy within a week or two weeks. Now, coming to the next question, will existing irrigation system or grass be impacted with this project? So yes, there will be some impact to the irrigation system and grass with this project, uh, but um, it's a part of our contract to have the irrigation system replaced to the initial condition uh, before the construction is done. And we would also be installing the sod back uh, before our contractor leaves the site. The next one is, will the construction materials and equipment be left on site during construction? So the contractor would have some materials and equipment while he's working over there. And um, they'll be left on site during construction, but our contractor would make sure that we won't be obstructing the roadway in any manner and we will, uh, the contractor would keep the site clean at all times. So Payne Group was selected as the contractor for this project and Noel Sanchez is our point of contact. Uh, here is his phone number and email ID. If you have any concerns, you could just call him and email him. Else, you could always reach out to me. I'm the project manager on this project, and you have my phone number and email ID over here, and I'll be happy to help you with any concerns that you have. I said I have uh, a question are... for you. Oh, okay. Uh, considering how significant this project is going to be, uh, I would like for us to schedule another one uh, perhaps on the 15th or the 16th or the 17th so that we can make sure we've done everything we can to make sure the citizens are, are aware. I think news of a sidewalk project takes on greater significance if they know that they're going to lose a lane of traffic in one area. And so, you know, let, let's try to get another date for a follow up and we'll do everything sure. we can to make sure people know. Uh, sure, we'll do that. Thank you. So this uh, is a slide showing the projects going on in the same neighborhood. So I would like Lisette to provide an update on this project. Lisette, can you take over? Uh, absolutely. Um, on my screen, the slides are not like turning as fast as, as you're speaking. Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, so other projects that we have in this um, um, neighborhood, in this area, um, 
So uh, reconstruction of Hanley Drive from Lancaster to Meadowbrook was completed in uh, June of 2020, this year. So um, also, uh, that's what it shows kind of like in the bluish, uh, purplish, you know, color. Uh, then uh, Lumber, Hunter, Route, and McGee Streets. Uh, the street reconstruction for those streets was completed in December of 2019. Um, and then um, we also have another two streets, Halbert and Craig, where we are doing uh, what they're currently under design and the estimated start of construction is next next summer. And I believe those are the ones that show in the in the magenta, uh, pinkish uh, sort of color. So um, that, those are other projects in this neighborhood area that uh, we have completed or are uh, in progress. Um, any questions about those? Thank you, Lisbeth, for providing an update on the project. You're welcome. So that, um, that is all I had. Just let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to address them. Uh, Todd, do we have any questions in the chat box? Sure, that's a good question. At this time, we do not have any questions in the chat box. Uh, okay, <laughs> thank you, Todd. So. Uh, thank you all for attending the meeting again, and we'll try to schedule another follow-up meeting around mid-October by the time when we have a proper schedule for the start of construction also so that uh, we could provide a proper update to the residents on the project. So thank you all again for attending the meeting. Uh, Ms. Pivans, do we have anything else to say before we wind up the meeting? No, thank you so much, knowing that we'll have a, a, another follow-up meeting so people can really know how important this project is. Um, thank sure, you. thank you. You all have a good night. Thank you.